So a neighbor dropped this log splitter off. They, uh, it's a homemade deal, I guess. I don't know a whole lot about it other than uh, it broke the wedge off. So I'm going to grind all this stuff back out. Grind all this back out. And try to get us a clean surface to weld to. And then I'm going to weld that back on. Welcome back to the shop, by the way. Hit that like and subscribe button if you don't mind. Bailey says uh, she wants to play. So she's going to sit here and drive me nuts while I grind this. So I got her tied up. Because she keeps running off. Isn't that right, Bailey? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need to board, build a four-board fence around this property. I wish the lumber prices would come back down so I could let her run. Got to where she chases cars, butthead. So I've been welding, well, I haven't been welding all, I've been grinding on this thing. I, I, I grinded it for a few hours yesterday uh, and about an hour or so today. Uh, I had to take a settling torch and cut a pad off the bottom of this. Had, this is a very crudely made uh, log splitter, it's a homemade deal, obviously. Uh, I didn't make it, uh, I'm just trying to fix it for them. And uh, so I've been doing a lot of grinding, trying to get this thing somewhat uh, flat onto the surface. It has really big lumpy welds all over the place. Um, I'm not a, a pro welder. Um, I've welded in the past uh, in my shops when I've needed to. Um, I've always wanted to learn how to TIG, but I don't have a TIG machine. So we're gonna, I've just got this uh, 100 and, uh, I don't know, it's 182. It's an Auto Arc 182. It's a 230 uh, volt MIG, um, but it's uh, it, it's you got to know its limitations. And I told him I said I don't know if this, my welder's hot enough for this or not. Um, I'm gonna uh, wipe this down a little bit with some acetone. Uh, Or not, I'm gonna try. Try to get some contaminants off of it. It's pretty dirty. It is pretty dirty. I've been grinding and grinding and grinding on it, and uh, I'd like my welds to stick. Theirs didn't, so <laughs> uh, be kind of cool if mine did. Cutting on it, I cut off this bottom pad with my acetylene torch. Um, it was just uh, in the way, it was way too high. It was sticking out. I mean, this thing was. Uh, 
not very well designed. I don't think an engineer built this, which I'm not an engineer either, but uh, you know what I mean. It's, uh... Is a problem. You can't really weld without any wire. put back on get back to our crappy welding <laughs> this machine is just not has not impressed me over the years I'll tell you that setting this thing up at 3 and 90 um, according to this a solid wire I've got a, a, a gas mix here um, I'm running 030 wire uh, we're 3 8 thick uh, of, over there I mean 3 and 70 would be 3 16 supposed to be the thickest this thing will weld I mean uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll try 370. Stick it on 3 and 70. And see how it does. <laughs> Those is pinched. That's probably why my well is like shit. Well, my gas line was pinched. Probably, <laughs> probably has a lot to do with why my wells look so crappy over there. So... We're going to reset up here, and uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see very well from this, but I'm going to set it up up here. right here and grind it all back out.
So my welds, I did a triple weld just to fill in the gap and I weld up the blade and I'm gonna grind all that back out. Okay, so that wraps up the uh, the welding of the log splitter, I guess the log splitter repair video for my neighbor. Uh, it was a little 
repair deal for their hunting camp log splitter that I don't know who made it uh, was one of their buddies or what but um, I didn't really get the story on that one but they brought it and I did quite a lot of grinding on that bad boy because uh, that's really cobbled up uh, I, I, I'm assuming stick welding and um, just wasn't able to sit flat but that, that uh, wedge wasn't able to sit flat on the I-beam um, so I did, uh, shit, probably four hours of grinding total on that, on that deal, uh, and welding. <clears throat> so I had some problems with my MIG. That little, uh, MIG welder is, is, uh, I mean, it'll stick some metal together. It just doesn't do it very pretty. Um, I've used other MIG welders and had much better success. I'm just, uh not fortunate enough to own anything better right now. So uh, any welding supply companies or, you know, welding companies that want to pony up and uh, support the old channel, hit me up. I'd love to have a better welder. Um, I love making stuff out of metal and uh, fabricating, but I just just don't have the, the equipment to do it properly. But, you know, it gets me by. A good grinder and a, and a shitty welder uh, will get you through <laughs> through your tough times uh we appreciate you watching uh we being me appreciate you watching thanks for hanging out uh don't uh beat me up too bad about those welds i, I did those those triple beads um kind of to fill in some gaps so just you know i could have done a couple more hours of grinding maybe or made a whole new wedge and probably made it a lot prettier uh, but I just, I decided to, uh, and, and in my first couple welds, uh, like the spot welds I did, my gas line was pinched, uh, for me dragging it out of the shop and into the yard, the MIG welder, uh, on the cart, I guess the gas line got flopped in between the, the tank and the, uh, the welding machine. So <laughs> I was getting quite a lot of splatter, uh, in my, in my tacks. And, uh, and the first couple of beads I ran, and then I ran out of wire, and uh, I went and bought some wire when I refed the machine the new spool of wire. I noticed that that gas line was kinked, and I was like, "Oh man!" And that it made a a, a big difference uh, on how it was welding after I unkinked that that hose, and I uh, went back to uh, my business there. So. Uh, like I said, I'm no pro. I'm no pro welder. Uh, come from a long line of welders. Grandfather was a welder. Uh, uncle was a welder. Uh, I mean, like full-time professional welder. Uh, my grandpa uh, welded ships together in World War II. Uh, worked at the steel plant in Gadsden, Alabama, and, and uh, welded ships together in Corpus Christi, Texas, I believe. Uh, if I got that story correct, uh, but anyway, the uh, uh, he died in '79 when I was four, so I don't 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 get a lot of firsthand uh, stories from that situation. But anyway, I do have a pretty cool old uh, well or uh, bench vice that my papa made from scratch that I'll I'll uh, show you in a future video, but. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out, checking out my little log splitter repair video. Uh, if you got anything, give it a like. Hey, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to grow the channel. You can use all the support uh, we can get. Any feedback, uh, we appreciate. I, I enjoy the comments. Uh, we appreciate the comments and uh, keep them coming. Those likes and comments do help the channel from what I've been told with the algorithm. So. Uh, if you want to see more out of this channel, you want to help us grow, we really appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Uh, all right, catch me in the next one. Peace.